Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gerardo Marquez. Today, I will be creating this new segment of my channel and it's called Remembering Photos. Yes, it's uh, really cheesy, <laughs> it sounds really cheesy, but I will be taking some photos that I've taken and uploaded them to Instagram and I will be discussing uh, why I took that photo, how I took it, how I could improve it, and if you, the viewer, want to um, you know, emulate it or you know, improve it or give me some feedback on how I could improve that photo, something maybe that I missed, you are so, so, so welcome to do so. So, thank you in advance and let's get on with this remembering photos <laughs> let's go now the first photo that i will be talking about is called threads of light i remember when i first got the camera and i found some videos on steel wool photography and it's really an amazing uh, way to use your camera in a creative way and so i started to do some research and i knew what i needed to do uh, to actually get the result and I went out and I tried it and it doesn't look horrible I think I mean it looks okay it's not like the worst photo ever but it's also um, not the best it could also be really improved now what I could have done to improve this photo is to first of all take the photo somewhere where there's no light on the background the attention of the eye is taken away by this huge lights are on the back yeah the lights are really a, something that is not good for this photo also what i could have done to improve it to make it look more epic i believe is to take in a few steps back just a couple of uh, steps back and it would have made it look even better uh even bigger i didn't think of it at that time but now that i see it yeah just a few steps and it would have looked uh, much much better make sure that nothing is flammable around you because this could be dangerous uh, so please be careful with this type of photography you don't want to create a, a forest fire while taking this type of photo i mean you definitely don't want to do that the second photo's name is capture the light now um well that's what i'm trying to convey in this photo i'm trying to capture the light pretty much you need light to make a photograph without light well you have nothing now uh, what i could have done to improve this photo is well i feel better editing on my end i wish i knew what I know now on how to edit photos. I'm still not a professional or, you know, someone that's amazing at uh, editing photos, but I'm definitely much better than what I was before. That's something that could have definitely improved the photo, you know, better editing. As you can see, my main camera, the one that I'm recording this on, is on my hand. So I took this photo with my phone. Now, the, the phone that I have is not the best or the latest, but it's it's not the worst and the photo is, is good I mean I think it looks okay but if I had taken it with a I believe a DSLR camera with a, some good glass behind it this would have looked uh, much better and it would have been actually easier to edit but I mean I just uh, used what I had and well, this this photo came out and I, I liked it I actually just I still like it at this time but it definitely needs some improving uh, it, as it is so yeah, I could definitely benefit from, from that. Uh, maybe a better camera other than my, my smartphone to take it. Into the Woods, The Enchanted Woods. Uh, this is the third photo that I will be remembering in this uh, video, this new segment of the channel. And this photo, I really like it. I mean, I, I, I still like it. Uh, I see the flaws in it, don't get me wrong, but I do really like it. Now, uh, the reason why I took this photo is because I was going back to my car and I noticed the, the wind uh, just uh, wrestling uh, or moving the, the branches of this uh, tree uh, and I just decided okay this looks amazing. Also I feel like I could have actually improved this photo um, with a tripod if I actually set it up of where I was, if I had set up a, a tripod and uh, created a timer and then you know push the, the release button. I feel like it could have prevented some blur that it's present. I know that, I mean, it's, you can see it or maybe you can, but uh, yes, with a tripod, I could have actually prevented some blurring or some movement that you can kind of feel on this. So yeah, uh, definitely uh, a, a tripod could have made this photo much better. One last thing I feel like it could have actually made this photo like 100 times better is if I had with me um, a model on a white dress. Uh, this is of course uh, me as a 
creator just thinking, well, what could have actually made this photo much better? I feel like a, a model with a white dress right in the middle of the photo could have made this photo much, much more interesting. So yeah, I have definitely gone with that if I had a model uh, with a white dress. But this was also the first time that I've been at that location. I didn't know what to expect. Now I know uh, what it looks like, so I will definitely, well, I, I can't say that I'll do it, but if I ever do actually decide to do it, then I will definitely take a model on a white dress <laughs> to show you the photo. Uh, that I actually wanted to take. Well, and we have reached the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, if that's the case, please remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and comment. That actually helps me a lot. Let me know what you think. And so we can establish a conversation. That, that's always amazing. Please uh, do so. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other and Goodbye.